crew, it is Sunday, December 11th. It's getting cold out. It's 33 degrees out right now. I got in the habit of vlogging outside, which is great because I was able to have some really nice backgrounds that are a dynamic of Boston and some parks. However, as it gets colder out, it's going to be harder to do that. So I'm going to have to find some cool places to vlog indoors and still produce an interesting video. First of all, let's go into the news, the very sad news that everybody's talking about. Last week, John Glenn passed away, which is very sad. He is absolutely an American hero and an inspiration. And I would have loved to see him speak or meet him or uh, interact with him in some way or another. But unfortunately, that's no longer an opportunity. If you really don't know anything about John Glenn, and you're interested in space history and human spaceflight, I would absolutely check out his history. Do some research on some of the things he did. He was the first American to orbit around the Earth in the Mercury program in February 20th, 1962. His first flight was in the Friendship 7 capsule that he named for the Mercury program. That capsule can actually be seen at the National Air and Space Museum in DC. In October of 1998, he returned to space on a space shuttle mission as a payload specialist. He was 77 at the time and became the oldest individual in space to date. John Glenn was from Ohio, like many astronauts are, and he was a senator for the United States. Super interesting history, amazing, amazing hero and inspiration to all, and absolutely please do some research on him and really learn about how great of an inspiration he was. Last week was a scary week. Buzz Aldrin was also in the hospital for I believe a little over a week. He was in Antarctica at the time and he suffered from altitude sickness so he was rushed to New Zealand for emergency medical attention. He stayed in New Zealand while he received the medical attention until he was stable enough to fly home. And today, Sunday, just a couple hours ago, Juno was to be considered at its third close approach for its science objectives. The SpaceX return to flight mission seems like it was delayed until January of this upcoming year. I just got back from a family Christmas party and I'm about to sit down and edit the vlog. I realized that I forgot to talk about the HTV launch. Last vlog I talked about how there was a failure on a launch of a Soyuz rocket that was attempting to bring supplies to the ISS. I mentioned that the HTV vehicle, which is a Japan resupply vehicle, was launching pretty soon. It launched on Friday. It's on its way to the ISS now. So far, everything's good, so they should get some more supplies shortly. Mm -hmm. 